Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and my face is huge. Uh, the reason why it's big tonight is because I'm going to do the official launch of the Hello Juniper uh, storefront for all of my gear and my merchandise and stuff like that. I want to take some time to actually like break it down and be completely 100% absolutely honest with you about the merchandise sales, about the YouTube analytics, about getting started on YouTube, just in general, talking to you guys one-on-one. -on -one. So it's it's not a gameplay tonight. It's kind of like a little vlog. Um, I, I don't know if you guys are going to be interested in this at all, but hopefully there's going to be some tips and some tricks and some things that you didn't know. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe button down below. Uh, I shouldn't call it out at the beginning, but apparently if I call out the like and the comment and the subscribe button now, then it's supposedly like better than waiting until the end of the video because everybody only watches like the first five minutes of the video, or apparently from what I can tell inside my analytics, which you're going to see in just a moment. Uh, before I get started, I do want to say I have bought the mug. Oh gosh, it's, why is, okay, you know what? That's not going to work for me. Let's just do this. Uh, color, uh, no, I need the video camera source. Right click, properties. You're gonna you're gonna see the uh, green screen coming down here in just a second. Filters, chroma key off. Boom. There you go. So now you get to see the green screen or yellow screen, whatever you want to call it. Anyhow, it works. Um, so right there, there's the coffee mug. All right, and here is. The mouse pad, I have bought these. These are like, I wouldn't normally be like, dude, you gotta get these because I mean, I don't believe in capitalism. Uh, well, I do believe in capitalism, but I don't believe in like, like, sorry, it's wrinkled. I just grabbed it out of the wash. So uh, anyhow, that, and then the one that I'm actually wearing as well. So these are the t-shirts and stuff like that that you can get. There's also uh, a hoodie and there's kid sizes and there's all kinds of cool stuff. But I normally would not be like, you got to get this stuff. It's amazing because usually it's not that high quality. But from what I have seen, what I'm wearing, what I will attest, like this is really good material. Like if I were to go up to Walmart or Best Buy and get a mouse pad, it would not be this kind of material. Not for the prices that you're seeing on the site. So that brings me to my next point. <laughs> Oh gosh, what happened? All right, let's turn the filter back on. Chrome cane on. There we go. And let's fade on over. Ooh. So this is the Hello Juniper website. Uh, this is where you can go and actually purchase everything. And you see the prices, $23.99, $24.99, $23.99, $23.99, $34.99 for the hoodie, uh, $9.99 for the mouse pads, and $9.99 for the coffee mugs. So it's you're going to spend anywhere from, was it $10 to $35. That's not including the shipping if you're in a certain area and it has to get shipped. And if you buy more, you actually pay less on the shipping because, anyhow, I'll get to that in, after a while. The reason I wanted to show this to you and bring it to your attention is because this is the website that you can go to, uh, hellojuniper.com forward slash code primate slash store. And just so you know, all right, I do get a profit off the purchase of these. It is a 55-45 split. Why? Because Hello Juniper is doing an amazing job. Um, looking at my invoices and stuff like that, if I sell two cups, I might get 95 cents, okay? That's how much of a like amount is going towards the manufacturers, not Hello Juniper and myself. So I am not making a huge amount of, on this stuff. This is not to, for me to make a profit. What it is, is Hello Juniper set up a web store. They set up the merchandise. They set up the interface. They set up everything for me. And then all I have to do is do advertisement or call them out and put a link down in the description. That's what I do, okay? Uh, like I said, this is not for me to make money. I do not make a ton of money on this. This is simply so I can have gear, get it out to you, and you can have merchandise with my face on it. So the same thing goes for Hello Juniper as well. Um, if I'm getting 95 cents, that's the 55% of the total amount of profit from the 
the gear that was sold. So like two mugs, I get 95 cents. They're probably only getting 85, 75 cents. And that's the total combined profit that came from the purchase of those two mugs. The mugs themselves are made by a manufacturer who works with Hello Juniper. Hello Juniper is not getting the money. I'm not getting the money. The person that you're actually purchasing it from is the person that made the cup. Uh, the person at uh, the company that made the mouse pad, the company that made the t-shirts. And what this is, is Hello Juniper has got a whole bunch of manufacturers that came together and now they are doing the website and the interface forward and purchasing from the manufacturer. I, I hope I'm making a lot of sense. Uh, I hope you're understanding where this is coming from. Um, the reason why is I'm doing the official launch of the Hello Juniper site so you can get some merchandise. That's why I'm doing it. Um, Hello Juniper, if you're over 10,000, they might have changed the policy by now, but if you have 10,000 subscribers or more, you can get your own merchandise, your own thing for free. I mean, basically just introduce yourselves. Uh, the people that I saw do this first were Cineac and I'm a flying midget. So I, I'm giving you guys huge shout out, sh huge props because this is, this is amazing. This is like the greatest thing since I started YouTube. Like that is awesome. Um, that's, that's pretty much it on that end. Um, the reason the website is so important is because you can come over here and you can get points and the points actually, uh, for doing stuff on my YouTube channel, you can get 50 code bucks for doing a subscription. You can get 20 code bucks for doing a liked video. You get 30 Robux or not Robux code bucks for doing a comment and, uh, you get 50 if you share uh, share that video on like a social media or something like that and those points do count There are currently no rewards. I can create rewards. So like 5,000 points gets you 15% off on merchandise stuff like that. Um, I will get some of those codes I will get them set up so you can have some of the coolness as well There are contests. I did a test contest for a hundred code bucks Don't do this. This is this was just me messing around see if and I I could make a contest of some kind um, but there is a leaderboard so as you can see right now, Mike Mitchell, Michael uh, Hothers is my number one with uh, 693 likes, four comments, uh, no shares, currently has 14,000 code bucks. So if I were to put some things out there for him to use those code bucks on, he could be rolling in the code merchandise for discounted prices, stuff like that. Anyhow, this board, uh, by the way, thank you, Dig Duck. You're amazing. <laughs> He's in my number six. Uh, Bin Gaming and then uh, Creeper Company 6, by the way. Wow, Creeper Company. I didn't know that you liked my video that much. That's amazing. Uh, and yeah, you can just come here and you can pretty much see where you're at on the stack. And yeah, th there you go. That is the official launch of Hello Juniper merchandise and awesomeness. And to let you know that like this is not a money maker. This is not for me to make a whole bunch of money. I don't make money like I, I really am not making a huge profit or any kind of significance from the Hello Juniper. They're not really making that huge of a profit either. This is just so you can get some merchandise and I have a, I have a free storefront. Um, if a different opportunity comes up for me to like actually make, make some money off some merchandise or something like that or better quality or different kinds in the future, I will let you know in a video just like this where I'm talking to you guys and you can see what I'm changing to. For now, this is great because, I mean, literally, I don't have to purchase anything. I don't have to maintain a website. I don't have to uh, have any kind of upkeep. It's literally Hello Juniper has done it all for me. And if you get to 10,000 subscribers, you can have one too. Okay, that's the, that, that's the official launch. Next, um, I've had a lot of people commenting that, uh, Code, you make so much money, blah, blah, blah. And they've been looking at the, um, the social blade the how much I'm supposed to be making on a yearly basis. And I think it was like somewhere around 30, 38,000 per year. That is the maximum CPM if everything was exactly perfect and I was getting the uh, like awesome amount that I was actually getting for YouTube. Here are my analytics. This is for August. Okay, uh, no personal information, cool. 
Um, this is my analytics that I look at almost daily. Now I'm going to tell you right now, before starting like daily uploads and stuff like that inside YouTube, I wasn't checking YouTube. I wasn't checking my stats. I wasn't checking anything because it didn't really matter. Now that uh, it's become a daily upload, a daily thing, I constantly check it. Like it is a 24 hour a day, seven day job. So I'll tell you right now, if you want to do YouTube, if you want to do um, videos and stuff like that, it is a job and you set your own schedule, you set your own pace, but it's constant and you're going to get hate for it. You're going to get all kinds of bad comments. You're going to get so much support. Like you guys, you the fans that are watching right now are so amazing at everything that you do for me. Real quick, um, this number right there, $615.99. That is my current profit for, and that is an exact profit for uh, August 1st through August 10th. Um, with this average, I should equal out to about 1200 maybe, if it stays under constant like that. But it will fluctuate. It'll go up and down. It'll, it'll change as it goes through. That's great like for you know somebody that doesn't have a wife and kids and the house payments and the car payments and the grocery bills and the everything else that goes with life all right so don't think for a second that this could maintain my life ever like there's so much more that goes into my life that you guys don't see um my wife does not work she's a stay-at-home mom Okay, she takes care of my kids, she takes care of the house, she does a great job, I love her so much, and I let her. If, if you want to stay home and do, like, that's, you do it, go for it. If you, if she wants to go and get a job, I support it 100%. She can go and get a job if she wants to. Um, I have set ourselves up in a position where if she wants to stay at home, she can. If she wants to go to work, she can. If she wants to go back to school or do some college or do anything, she is more than allowed to. And I, I love her so much. That's what I want for her. I want her to not have to worry about going and getting a job. I don't want her to have to worry about um, finances and stuff like that. That's why I have a regular job. If you guys didn't know this, I am not a 100% full-time YouTuber. That is not my role. That is not what I do. Um, I do YouTube because I enjoy making a video for someone getting a comment saying, oh my gosh, you were so inspirational. Thank you so much for doing it. I get a thrill out of that. That is like, I'm getting attention from somebody who I just, I made a video and I, I enjoy video games. So I might be playing Roblox. I might be playing Skyrim. I might be playing GTA five, six, seven, 900, uh, watchdogs. But if I'm recording, I'm going to make it family friendly. And the reason for that is so my kids can watch. I don't want to have to come back to them and tell them why daddy decapitated somebody in a video game. No, that's not what this channel is about. It is family friendly. It is 100% honest. Like, if you guys ever think that I'm, I'm lying about something, call me out on it. And I will I will type to you in the comments. Like, there you go. Um, I don't give away my location. I don't give away information that I'm not supposed to, stuff like that. But I felt... I needed to show you guys this, these, these numbers, like these, these are how many views you guys do. Um, if you look up at the average view duration, right, can you see the mouse? Yeah, right here. The average view duration is six minutes and 13 seconds. All of my videos, as far as I know, for like the last year have been 30 minute sections, 30 minutes of video game plays and everything else. And what this is telling me is the 1 million minutes watched over there on the left hand side was only for six minutes i don't know where that number is coming from i don't know how it works um i've looked inside the analytics i've tried to find out where it's coming from okay if you're only watching five minutes that's fine uh the next thing i wanted to say was if you're getting started with youtube if you're just starting out a lot of people think that oh it's the equipment you gotta you gotta buy awesome equipment to do youtube and what they'll do is they'll go out and they'll spend this equipment and then they come back to me and like, well, I did videos and I uploaded videos with this awesome equipment. Where's my subs? Where, where are my subscribers at? It's really not. It is not about the equipment. Um, it makes it better. It does help. Uh, if you go back and watch some of my earlier videos where it's just the, the headset, uh, I, I got that headset for free. 
uh, literally my camera. My camera is a Logitech and I got it for free. Uh, my laptop, um, we won't talk about the laptop. The monitors, the, the everything that I've got, it was free. The only thing I've ever paid for is the green screen behind me, um, this microphone, my headset. headset. Uh, I did purchase an Xbox, three, uh, Xbox One, but that was for doing gameplays for Xbox and it was my Christmas present and that was the only present I got for Christmas. So, I mean, literally very bare minimum of what I spend to do YouTube goes into YouTube. Um, all that money that you see right there, that is going to go towards groceries. That is going to go towards uh, house payments. That's going to go towards um, uti utilities, uh, gas, water, um, uh, da, 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 uh, internet. Uh, you got to have internet. So, I mean, that's the amount of money that I spend just to maintain my household and my kids and uh, like back to school. Oh my gosh, back to school. We had to get new backpacks this year. We had to get all the gear supply and we had to get the supplies for, for the classrooms. There is a huge amount that you guys don't see me that I have to spend just to maintain my family. So YouTube is, is here. It's what I'm doing. It's what I enjoy. It's what I love. And the fact that they're paying me for it. Excellent. I love that because it does, it helps me and my family and it relieves some of the pressure off. So, um, if you guys hit a dislike button and, uh, you think, Oh, well, I just don't like Heath Haskins. He's horrible. Click. And you hit the dislike button that hinders the views. And that, that actually, that affects me that and it affects me. It affects the money that comes in. It affects the amount of views that happen. It, it, it does affect me. Um, if you curse or cuss inside the comments, that doesn't really affect anything, um, but it does show um, the world what you said, and I will delete them, and I will take them out, and I do mon monitor my comments all the time. I was going somewhere with this. It was going to be really good. It was going to be like this excellent, awesome me talking about YouTube. Oh, starting YouTube. Sorry. If you want to start YouTube, if you're getting into YouTube, and then this is going for any smaller channels, anyone like starting in, there is a niche. Um, there is a specific thing that um, everybody starts to do. For example, fidget spinners. It, how many videos started coming out with fidget spinners? Boom, 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 boom. Like tons of them. And you couldn't tell like which ones were famous YouTubers and which ones just had recorded something and thrown it up. It just didn't happen. It's a, it was a, a fad thing that happens and it, it's still happening. Like I still have a fidget spinner and they are still popular coffee time. <clears throat> the next thing is Minecraft. If I say Minecraft YouTube, first words that think or like first person that com comes to my mind is Dan TDM, Diamond Minecart. Dan the Diamond Minecart. I... I have watched him for a long time. Like I watched his gameplays. Uh, the other one is Tabuscus, Toby Turner. Watched him for a really long time. Um, if I wanted to break into Minecraft and I started making Minecraft videos every single day and I was doing the same thing and everything, there's not too much that would stand me apart from anyone else. So it doesn't really do anything. If we go and look, oh gosh, real time views. <laughs> All right, so real time views right here. Where is it? Skyblocks, Skyblocks, Skyblocks. I want to show you Skyblocks. Skyblocks, um, my Minecraft series that I'm doing against Cyniac and Midget, they're getting like, uh, actually, I, I don't know what their views are. I will tell you my views on a Minecraft video versus views on a Roblox video are exponentially different huge difference um this one actually surprised me lumber tycoon 2 season 2 this one with the 14,000 or 1400 and this one with the 200 uh, 2000 that took me by surprise because i did not think metalworks was going to go above the lumber tycoon 2 series but it did and that's pretty cool that's amazing but if i had dropped in a minecraft let's play or a codecraft it only get about 400 views by the time this thing reached 1,400. Literally, there there's a thousand view difference in the things. Um, 
again, that's not why I'm doing the videos. I do the videos because I enjoy the video games. I do it because I enjoy the fans' comments. I enjoy doing it for you. So when you guys suggest something to me and I start a series on it, it's because you suggested it to me. Um, yeah, I think that's that's overall basically it. Uh, I check your comments every single day. So um, I hope this has been informative. Uh, if you're if you're if you are starting out YouTube, just do it. Don't say, oh, well, I'm going to wait for equipment or don't say, well, people are going to be like, I'm going to embarrass myself or, oh, I don't, I don't want to do it in front of camera. Don't do a camera. Just do, just do your voice. Um, try to avoid typing a YouTube channel or typing inside a YouTube video as much as possible because that was some 2005 stuff that was happening where notepad was popping up and hey, everybody today and we're going to. Yeah, um, basically one of the things that definitely set me apart, all right, and uh, I cannot look back at my Roblox career YouTube history and not claim that I didn't get some boost because I absolutely did. And it was subscriber counts that came to me through the use of uh, my golden headphones because of the fact that I got the golden headphones I didn't even realize that I had them. And then once I found out that I had them, I'm, I absolutely use those. Like it sets my character apart because it is a, a a Roblox item that was given to me, hugely different. Like that that is definitely something that set me apart. Something else that set me apart was I'm a flying midget, and Cineac, your collaborations they boosted me up there. Thank you so much, and like I shout out to them all the time, and I don't I don't think they realize how much of a help they were for me as a YouTuber whenever I was first starting out because. I was I did the same thing that you guys do to me now where it's like hey code can you collab hey can can we collab can uh, can you sign my bikes can we do a collaboration I have an idea for a collaboration yes that comes to me all the time I get tons of those every single day well that's the exact same thing that I did to um I'm a flying midget and to Cineac is I bugged them I'm like hey, 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 hey. I didn't realize that that's the no no you like don't do that like it's rude um, for people that come into my channel, you'll see it all the time. I get it all the time. Inside the comments, they'll post, subscribe to my channel, subscribe to Awesome Gaming uh, uh, 793, blah, 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 with no interest in what I actually, what I did in my video or any respect to me and what I was doing. Those are very disrespectful and I don't like them and I delete them. If I catch you inside there, I will delete and remove and do that kind of stuff. I know I sound kind of mean saying that, um, but I, I really do. I find it offensive. I don't do that to other people's comments. Like, I will make a comment about the content that they were creating, and I will leave a like, and that's about the extent of it. Um, so those two were definitely a boost to my career, and I, I can't sit here and deny that, like, oh, I made it here all by myself. I didn't. I really didn't. I made it here because of my fans, you guys. I made it here because of uh, collaborations that I've done. I also made it here because I think I was doing something that nobody else was doing. I was watching Roblox and I was trying to do stuff on Lumber Tycoon 2 and there were no tutorials. There were nothing about Lumber Tycoon 2 tutorials except the typing into the chat, recorded on the Roblox recorder, like the those were the only videos I could find. Um, the other one was the, the blue maze, finding specific routes through the blue maze. Once I found Jarek's map and once I found the Wikia page, that was a boost. Like that was a huge boost. The Wikia, they brought me even higher. They brought me more subs. So I shout them out all the time and I collaborate with them all the time. Like you guys helped me. Thank you. Um, the, other thing that did it was uh, the Discord. The Discord, once people had the ability to contact me and talk to me directly, huge boost. Like that, it just, it, it, it wasn't me throwing out a video and going, where's my subs? Like, I hear that all the time. Your first 100 subscribers are going to be your most exciting. I know, like, once I hit 100 subscribers, I was like, oh my gosh, you guys, thank you. Thank you so much for all the, the love and everything else. And then I reached 500 subscribers and then I reached a thousand subscribers and, uh, there, what was it? It was thousand subs special. No, it was 500 subs special that I 
did uh, the picking of the name and, and the the uh, the dance. Do a do a little dance. Um, the other thing was I found my niche. I found. Um, a way to be creative inside Roblox because it's a game that I love playing. I found a way to um, do something that I love, which is Lumber Tycoon 2, Roblox, and nobody else was doing it the way I was doing it at that particular point in time. So that was huge. Thank you to Roblox because before then I was doing Autoit um, tutorials, hypnosis, um, programming bots, how to program a bot, uh, stuff like that. And I was doing... I was doing Minecraft series, but it wasn't, like it was just survival. And that's what I tried doing again, and the same thing happened. It I got bored with it, kind of. Um, I am still continuing on with the, the one that I'm doing with my daughter, but it's on the weekends, and I have to move my entire setup inside and get her laptop up and running. Like, it's a, it's a lot of work to get it to work, but I, I will continue on with that series. So, Skyblocks uh, with Dig Dug, and... Um, Codecraft with my daughter Hope, uh, Roblox Lumber Tycoon 2 videos every single day. I'm sorry I took up so much of your time. I hope that this kind of clears up some things. Yes, I make money off YouTube. No, it's not significant enough to live off of. Yes, it helps. Okay, um, I am not rich. In fact, like my, I, I'm lucky if my bank account keeps a thousand dollars a month inside of it. I'm just a dad that plays video games, I go to work, uh, I've got two kids, I've got a wife, and I, I don't want you guys to think that this was, like, I'm some kind of exponentially idle person of fame and fortune, like, it, it's not happening. I am just me, and I hope you enjoy it. So, thank you everyone for watching. I'm going to do the Hello Juniper uh, outro one more time, along with my regular outro, so... Love you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I hope this has been educational, and I hope it gets lots of views. Uh, share this, by the way. Share it with everyone that you know. Let them know, like, this... I, I, I don't know. I, it's honest. It's very honest. It's straight and to the point. And you know what? I don't... Uh, I do care that you guys just saw all my analytics. That's, that's deep. But I look at this every single day, and that's my numbers that I go off of. And by the way, this is a good month. This this is a really good month. Um, it does not normally look like this. So, I love you guys very much. We'll talk to you very soon. And good night.